Good morning to you. It's Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We continue uh, with our looking at the Acts of the Apostles, and I want to return to chapter 4, verse 12, a part of Peter's defense. This is probably one of the most important scriptures. And there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. There is salvation in no one else. Salvation is only by believing and trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. My friend, be clear on this. This ties in with what Jesus said. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is the only way, the only truth, the only one who can give life. Salvation is only in his name, no other. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can pay our sin debt and reconcile us with the Father. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus is the way, the only way. Don't fall into the trap of thinking it doesn't matter. I can believe whatever I like as long as I'm religious. Sadly, many churches have gone that way as well and are not clear anymore on this foundational truth that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life, that there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. If you believe and call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, you are saved. If you reject him, if you try to come to heaven some other way, you will find the doors are closed. There is only one way. That way is God's way. That way is the way that God has given to us. Some people object and say, well, that's too narrow. Yes, the way is narrow, but it's wide open for whosoever would call upon the name of the Lord. So please, my friend, be clear on this. Salvation is only in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is only one truth. And that truth is the Holy Bible. No other scriptures, no other, no other holy books contain the absolute truth. The absolute truth is the Lord Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Let me read it once more. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. Salvation comes through the Lord Jesus Christ, through his sacrifice. And just think about it. He's the only one who died and came back to life forevermore and is alive today. All the other founders of religions, they're all dead and they continue to be dead. Jesus is alive. He is the way. In his name is salvation. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for making it so easy and so clear. Thank you that there is only one way and not many ways. Thank you that, Lord, you laid down your life. You shed your holy, innocent blood to pay our sin debt in full. And how grateful we are to you today and every day. We thank you for your incredible love. We thank you for your amazing grace. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us the truth, that we can know the truth, and the truth sets us free. Lord, we pray for those who are bound up in false religions, who are basing their hope on a false religion, on a lie. We pray, Lord, that they would come to know the truth. You are the truth. To come to know you and would call upon your name. For all who call upon your name are saved. We love you and bless you and praise you today. We ask, Lord, that you would help those churches that have drifted away from you, that have drifted away from this truth, to repent and to return and come back and to stand upon the true rock, the true foundation. There is only one truth. We believe that, we acknowledge that, we confess that. We call upon your name, Lord Jesus, and we love you and praise you. Today, as we start a new week, Lord, we pray for our government. We pray for all in authority. We pray that you give them wisdom and understanding and help them to uh, do their jobs, Lord, properly and to be faithful in their serving. We pray, Lord, for peace in the Ukraine. We pray for an end to this horrible war. 
Lord, we lift up before you the lost. There's so many who are lost, who are just blundering through life or who are leaning on false religions. Lord, would you change their hearts today? Would your light shine into them today? Use us whatever way you may to proclaim the truth to them. May our witness be powerful today. May our light shine brightly. Our salt be salty. Father, I pray for those who are suffering. There are many who are suffering around the world. There are many who are sick. There are many who are dying. Would you lay your hand upon them, Lord? We ask for your healing. We ask for your strength and presence. I pray, Lord, for those who are listening, for those who take the time every day for these few minutes to switch on and to listen. I pray, Lord, that you would bless them. I pray that you would meet their needs as you have promised in your word. I pray, Lord, that you would just encourage them. I want them to be encouraged, to be strengthened, to know that you are always with us to the close of the age, that you are the good shepherd and that you are love, you are life, in you is forgiveness, freedom and everything that we need. Father God, we commend to you all. We commit to you totally and we pray, Lord, that you would help us to be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be today as you lead and guide us. And hear us now as we combine all of our prayers by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.